Hi all, morning. Um, it's, I don't know, it's 9.44 so it's pretty late because um, I was awake at like 6 o'clock this morning really ago but the whole house was asleep so I was a good girl and I stayed in bed and that made me fall back to sleep and I woke up, I don't know, about 40 minutes ago. I'm very tired. <laughs> um, so it's late on starting the recording again but you know me, you don't care. <laughs> so, um, last night, working on the magenta, um, I got this much done. Um, so, I'm just on the last row of the thumb, then one to the wrist. So, not far to go, so I'll have that finished today and get the other one done today. Um, but it's time to start the admin for the shop with my nephew because he's here. He's just ran away upstairs away from the camera. Ruby is behind the camera but she's not holding it right now because she's got a headache. So I'm holding it instead. Uh, but she's got a headache because she's a silly girl and has dehydration because yesterday she drank no water whatsoever. <laughs> a can of Pepsi, Coke, whatever. And then two what? Bad no fizzes. Some other fizzy drink. I have no idea what. They sell them in school. Something she gets in school. Apparently she doesn't know that you need water in your life. <laughs> Ongoing battle we have with her every time she comes over. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to get on with that. So in a minute I'm going to film the next advent puzzle, get that done. And then um, when we're doing the advent stuff, um, as I get the stock out, I might show you all, see what's going on. Um, we'll just see how the day goes really. So I'll see you all later. Bye. Morning guys, I will get this camera angle at some point, um, it's bright and early, I'm off to get my stall done, um, I never got yesterday's video out, I did film, um, but between doing the stock and photos, um, and all that, my computer was in use, and then I had to get bath because I'm shad, <laughs> um, and then we just didn't have time to get the video edited and put up, so I'll put to yesterday's puzzle out with today's puzzle when I get chance um, it depends on the stool and how tired I am after they might both go out on Monday I just have to wait and see I'm afraid I'm kind of leaning to the side <laughs> um, I'm very tired it's it's early for me um, but we're about to head out to set up for the stool um, and we're hoping it stops raining because I don't have anything to protect my um, garment so if it's raining I have to pull everything really tight into the gazebo which makes us a little more squashed but if it protects the stuff then it does but yeah I'm gonna go and do that I'm hoping to take the camera with me and then hopefully film a little while I'm there but it depends on how busy we are and what the weather's like to whether I can so maybe see you later bye <laughs> Hi guys, so this is going to be day four's puzzle. Um, I'm refilming it because the footage from yesterday, uh, in fact from two days ago now, um, was no good. I went off screen for some of it, so sorry about that. Um, I'm going to be filming days four, five and six back to back um, because the stall and that's kept me busy and I've not had time to upload what I filmed so I'm just going to do it all again <laughs> but I will upload the rest of the vlog footage with it so let's get number four done shall we <coughs> shift that out of the way we are going to have to come out on the zoom when we join it because as you can see we're not going to have enough room but we'll start for now <coughs> so, as usual, they have the number four on the back. Let's get them all sorted. 
And this is the bottom one, so we do have two sides again on this one, so there is a corner piece in here, which is there. usual and get all the edges I'm not feeling particularly great today so it'll be interesting to see how fast I manage this Make sure I'm in camera this time, shall I? There we go, so that's the first four days done, all joined. As per usual, it's slightly shifted over, but I think it's looking pretty good. So let's move straight on to number five, shall we? <coughs> so let's pop them out the way. I'm going to zoom back in. Zoom back in for number five so that you can see it. has the number five and of course this is going to have the top edge Is, as usual, you know the drill by now. So it looks like it's deep. Six, which is correct because it's usually six across and seven down for this puzzle. Uh, obviously, these are currently the wrong way up because it's the top, but I'm just going to do it this way anyway. Let's get on camera so I don't have to refilm again, shall we? <laughs> Sorry about that.
There we go. So, you know, join that to this one. So we're going to have to come out with it. So you can see me join it because I can't move it down because otherwise it's going to fall off the table. No, nope, that's in. One day I'll get that right. Okay. Day five, we're all joined. So let's move straight on to day six, shall we? these number sixes on there but they have a little dot so you know whether it's six or nine so that's helpful There we go. <coughs> so let's get that one joined in, shall we? Well, oh, and again, I went the wrong way. Uh, this one's going to be a little more fun because I've got to pick it up on two sides to join it in. Oh. That actually worked quite smoothly. It held together pretty well. It's definitely still offline as you can probably see when the picture doesn't quite match up slightly offline in a couple of places but I'm actually not too bad down that way just slightly off that way it's not too bad so it's doing well so that's day six so I'll chat to you all later and then we'll come back tomorrow for the next piece of this so we're getting quite good size now. Hope you're enjoying this. <laughs> Sorry, that's my stool I have to stand on to reach the turn off the camera because I'm too short to do this otherwise. Hi guys, yep, I'm holding it again. Tripod's in the other room and I couldn't be bothered to get it. Um, so, today is the 6th, Monday the 6th. Now I did record um, the puzzle on Saturday the 4th. Um, but I didn't get the vlog uploaded because I just didn't have time with everything prepping for the stall. And then yesterday with doing the stall all day, I didn't have time to even record the puzzle. Because by the time I come back, I was shattered and not feeling very well. Um, and I actually went to bed at 8 o'clock last night. I was just really in a rough way. So what I've done, I've, I've re-recorded um, the 4th on Saturday. Because I think I went off camera a bit. So you couldn't really see what I was doing anyway. Um, so I've... Just recorded four, five, and six together, 
and I'm just going to put out one massive vlog today that's going to show the three puzzle pieces everything I vlogged on Saturday and Sunday which isn't much but it was some I got a little bit of the marking out for you my niece Ruby helped um, and then whatever I vlogged today um, I don't know sorry I got swap arms my arms are tired I'm so unfit. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm going to vlog tonight at the craft group I run. Um, I might give a quick span around so you can see the area that um, we host the craft group. Um, but obviously I don't know if everyone who comes would be happy to be on my vlog. So I might have to just do a quick span before everyone arrives. If I can get there before everyone else. Because a few people like to turn up early. Um, and I turn up early. But they beat me to it. <laughs> Um, so, but I don't know how many will be there today, it's a different amount each day, um, each week, um, depending on what shifts people are working, how they're feeling health-wise, because there's a lot of us with chronic health conditions who can't make it every week, um, so, we'll see, and if people are happy to be vlogged, I'll get people to say hi, but I'm not sure if they will be or not, so we'll wait and see. I know I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at the screen, and I know that's very naughty, but I can't help it. It's the only way I can monitor and make sure I'm staying in camera. Um, so I'm gonna... I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm so tired. I'm still not feeling very well. Um, it's just run down a lot going on, you know, with chronic health problems, doing a lot of things and now it's weekly instead of once a month. I'm not getting as much time to recover from the stalls. Uh, but there's only a couple more... Um, uh, swap arms again. A couple more stalls. Um, the... 12th is that the Sunday the 12th then the 19th um they're both Sundays I think that's the 12th and the 19th isn't it um we'll do stalls those two days and then that's it until hopefully the council start up the summer artisan fairs again so we'll see how that goes um so I'll have a couple of months off to restock anything that I haven't had a chance to remake because I don't always have time to replace everything that I sell each week in fact I haven't had time to replace everything I sold last week it was a really good week last week um it wasn't a bad week this week either don't get me wrong we did well we we took um under half of what we took last week but last week was an exceptional week um so I do have a bunch of stuff to replace but I'm running out of yarn I need to get more yarn dyed up because I'm trying to only use my hand dyed yarn from now on but if it comes to the fact that I don't have time to dye up um and make I might have to see if I can find a nice 100% uh, wool or wool and bamboo, wool and silk or something because my favourite at the moment is merino and silk um, and merino, bamboo or just 100% merino that's what tends to be what I dye up um, sometimes I do some gold stilena some of that sold quite nicely at the store last, um, yesterday actually I sold some of my yarn so I'm definitely running out of hand dyed yarn between what I'm selling and what I'm using to make I'm getting really low on stock I don't even have enough to fill my rack anymore um, and it doesn't look very good if your rack's not full when you're at the market especially at the beginning <laughs> so I've definitely got to get more dyed up I do have yarn here to dye I have um, a chunky weight a lace weight and a DK weight cone so it's 10 skeins each to get dyed but I've got to take them off the cone turn them into skeins and then dye them and all that jazz and I'm doing uh, long colour changes this time around um, for some of them so that's a little longer process to do because it's not simply making one big skein I actually make joint smaller skeins they're just kind of joined in a line and then I dye them over different pots I have four pots set up I think some of you may have seen in um, last year's filming maybe in this year's I can't remember I, I have no idea what I filmed this year I know it's been very lax um, but I've got some colours in mind so we're going to see I need to get some um, darker colours some blacks dyed up um, and some plainer colours not so bright because I've had people asking me for some darker colours and I've sold all of the lighter greys all of the obsidians I've only got two left of the um, darker greys um, which I'm probably going to use to make things myself because some people have asked for some wrist warmers and things in the darker colours um, so I have to get some darker colours dyed up 
but I also have some wintry, lighter, pastel-y colours planned as well. So I've got to do several different dye batches in order to get the colours that I want to have for this batch instead of just the same colour batches for the all. So it's going to take a little doing, so I might not get it all done this week, so I'll have to see what I've got done to put on the stool and then do whatever else the week after. Um, I have a new drying rack coming. I do have a heated drying rack for my yarn, um, but it's a single layer one and if you've got a lot on it, it takes a while to dry because the airflow is not great. Um, and it happened to be that someone local was selling a two tier heated rack. Um, so I'm collecting that on Tuesday because it's the, only, the earliest both of us were available for going to collect. So Don can collect that for me Tuesday after work and I'll be able to spread the yarn out drying and hopefully that'll dry fast enough and be ready for Sunday. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's about it. I'm going to have to put it down because the pain in my arms is getting quite bad. I slept really badly because pain levels are shockingly high right now. Um, so I am going to just relax for a minute, get something to eat get something to drink and then have a think what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to get the yarn skeined up, um, which I may film if I can find a way of setting it up to film, but I don't know if I'll be able to, so we'll just have to wait and see. So I'll see you all later. Bye. Hi guys, so I've got up the Swift set. I have a set of scales down there, which my cone goes on, and then I wind up monitoring how much the scales say, so I know how much is on there. So this is the chunky weight, uh, merino and silk. Um, so we're going to do 100 gram skeins for this because mini skeins are just too small um, and then the other two I'm doing mini skeins so 20 gram skeins of each which is DK weight and lace weight also merino and silk so we're just going to get it started on the end doesn't fall off so I can see how much it weighs down there when I move the face out of the way, there we go, and then I'll just monitor that. Ooh. And it's got cool, typical. I would want. Do it reasonably fast, otherwise, my scales time out on me.
medication that I just ran out way before I got to my 100 grams. Um, so this is going to have to be a scrap cone and I only got 900 and oddsies instead of the, ten, the kilogram I'm supposed to get. So I'm just going to tie that off. So I've just re-weighed all of the skeins I've done and even calculated how much string I've used because it was a brand new ball that I started today for the string and the cone was definitely short um, because all my cones are correct and um, all my skeins are correct at 100 grams each. So that's the second time in a row I've had a cone that was short. This one at least is only one skein short. Um, the last one with the lace was actually one whole skein short plus the one of the skeins, so the ninth skein was actually made up of four different parts because there were so many cuts in it that it was unusable and I was actually only able to use 800 grams of the uh, one kilogram cone. So I think I'm going to have to start looking for a new yarn supplier because this is ridiculous, this stuff isn't cheap. But I'm going to go and have lunch, so I'll get on with the rest after I need a rest, I hurt. My hands are going funny, you might have noticed in the video that I'm shaking them out, trying to get them to work properly. I'll see you all later, bye! Hey guys, um, about the lighting, we've got the main one on that we actually never used, we've just left it on and we've just got back from the craft group. Um, I did a quick film around of the cafe we use, I did it after everyone left um, because I wasn't sure if people were happy to be on camera, um, so I just thought I'd show you the space that we use. We had a good turnout again today, um, I got some new yarns, this one. These will be made into wrist warmers for the shop um, and this one because one of the ladies is selling a bunch of yarns on behalf of someone else um, and I got those too. The first one I showed you is 100% Merino, second one I showed you is a blend of 80% lamb's wool, 10% angora and 10% cashmere. So I got them, they're going to go into wrist warmers. Um, I've still got a skein up more yarn, I didn't get it all done today um, that looks something hit then, but I don't know what, weird um, yeah I didn't get it all skeined up because my back hurt too much, I had to stop but I did get some um, done for the mini skeins so this is the DK weight so I've got um, a bunch of the mini skeins and some full 100 gram skeins skeined, I'll finish the rest of it tomorrow and get the lace weight ones skeined up um, ready to dye it all um, and the chunky we worked out I'm 28 grams short for a remaining skein which has really annoyed me I re-weighed all the rest um, definitely 100 grams on each of them, there's no extra on them so a little annoyed so I'm going to have to email them and let them know that this is the second order in a row that one of my cones has been short. Um, see what they say. I don't know if they give a damn. Um, just have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm going to finish this here, get this edited and get this uploaded because it's um, it's 8.31 now. So by the time I've edited, it's not going to be uploaded until like 9 o'clock and takes like an hour or so to upload usually um, so most people probably won't see this until tomorrow um, but hopefully some of you will see it today so that it's sort of on time <laughs> it's already delayed by two days <laughs> so this is gonna be a long one anyway so I apologize for that but I'll add on the end of the end of this what the cafe looks like so I'll see you all tomorrow take care bye